Hello everyone, back to you in today's second video. We've already done Jam A Friday. You can find that on the homepage and uh, it's covering the next month. It's an interesting update because it looks as though the last stages of July might see a big building pressure and sustained uh, warmer, drier conditions later in the month. But I'll let you have a look at that and uh, see what you think. Uh, we've been asked to do some uh, forecasts for the Brentwood Festival in Essex, which will be in a week's time, running from the 14th through to the 16th of July. And this weekend is also going to be the uh, finals weekend of uh, Wimbledon, and also, of course, it'll be the weekend of the British Grand Prix. So I'm going to combine all of these events uh, into this update. So we might do two or three more over the uh, next week. So we're going to start off on Friday the 14th of July, which of course will be uh, the first day of the Brentwood Festival, and also of course it'll be the first day of qualifying at Silverstone. And uh, we can see that uh, it's not too bad actually, we've got a bit of a ridge of high pressure here from the Azores High, bringing a lot of dry conditions. Upper air temperatures are looking quite uh, cool, uh, so not overly warm, uh, despite that we are under a very transient ridge. There's a lot of dry weather around as well. Could be showers up in the north, but uh, for uh, Silverstone in North Hampshire and, of course, down in towards Essex, uh, Brentwood, we don't have to worry about uh, precipitation. It looks mostly dry on this update. The temperatures aren't much to write home about. The model is suggesting around 17 to 20. It normally undercuts temperatures, so I suspect 22 Possibly 23 degrees is possible, especially down towards Essex. That's around 73 Fahrenheit. Through to uh, Saturday 15th of July, which of course will be uh, the second day of the Brentwood Festival. It will be the uh, second day of qualifying for the British Grand Prix at Silverstone. And also it will be the ladies final at uh, Wimbledon. And again, it's not looking too bad at all. We've got this ridge of high pressure here bringing a lot of dry weather down. Uh, to the south, although low pressure is to the north. And overall, it's quite an unsettled pattern, albeit for southern areas we are um, we are under this ridge of high pressure. Upper air temperatures have warmed up. We're bringing a warm sector in across the country there for Saturday the 15th of July. There's rain up in the north, so Scotland, Northern Ireland, North West England is looking wet. But for all of the events that we're interested in, uh, so for Northamptonshire, down in Essex, also in London, uh, for the uh, for Wimbledon. It is looking mostly dry there, with the rain restricted more towards the northwest. However, if timings would be to be a little bit different with this rain, it's over a week away, so you can't guarantee that the timings won't be a little bit different. Then, uh, actually, that uh, rain could be further southwards and eastwards than uh, that suggests. Conversely, it could, of course, be to the north and the west of where that suggests too. Uh, temperatures are uh, forecast to be below 20 Celsius, so around 21, 22, 23 degrees into the low 70s Fahrenheit. And then finally we go through to Sunday the 16th of July, which is, of course, the uh, final day of the Brentwood Festival. It's the actual day of the British Grand Prix at Silverstone. And also, uh, it's the final, the men's final, uh, at Wimbledon. And it looks more unsettled. We're bringing that weather up that was in the north and west for Saturday. We're bringing that southwards and eastwards across the country. So, you can see there's a cooler air following that weather front. The front itself is lying across England and Wales, where we've got this uh, temperature gradient. All important precipitation shows outbreaks of rain there through much of England and Wales on Sunday the 16th of July. That would give a very interesting... Grand Prix, of course, it'll be uh, quite a wet race, uh, if that was right. Down at Wimbledon, they've got the roof over Centre Court now, so that wouldn't impact things. And it would probably give quite a soggy end to the Brentwood Festival in Essex. Temperatures are looking like this. They are cooler because uh, we've got those outbreaks of rain just into your upper teens or low 20s Celsius. So overall, I don't think it's too bad an update, really. Most of uh, the period is looking dry. Just a question mark about Sunday. And that would make for a very interesting race at the Grand Prix at Silverstone if that rain did come up. But it's a very long way off. It's over a week away. And overall, I don't think too bad an update at this stage. Might do another one on Monday or Tuesday. Right, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.